So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. And just like took away my sister. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone, until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going! Depletes stamina, and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to... A Statue of the Seven! Which of the seven are you looking for?
That's a statue of the Seven! There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods, this god controls the wind! Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but... Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why! As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind! There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it! Did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal! As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Uh-huh! It's because you're not from this world to begin with! If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the City of Freedom! Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of animal. So perhaps because you got power from the god of animal, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal! As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easy- Uh-huh! It's because you're not from this world to begin with! If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the City of Freedom! Mondstadt is the City of Wind because they worship the god of animal! So perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers and Paimon- Wind blade! 
These are the animal powers you got from the Statue of the Seven! Oh, Paimon's so jealous! Why doesn't Paimon... ...get cool fighting powers? Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? That weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Yeah, Paimon gets why you're worried. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful, Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here! God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? 
I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but we've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Outrider Amber, reporting for duty. Just say the word if you ever need my... Suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Helping him to find his sister. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh. Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. 
So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Opening a chest is like unwrapping a gift. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Havonius. Jean, defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious storm terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky Honey Roast. Sticky Honey Roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground.
This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. to give you is a wind glider outriders use them to ride the wind and the people of Mondstadt love using them too I brought you here to give it to you so you can experience it right away oh you're really excited about these wind gliders huh well that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt oh. alrighty then enough talk let's give it a whirl it's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. The sky.
You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I've brought them. <sighs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mondstadt welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm Terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Too. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? 
They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. We could start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. This is it, one of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Wait, did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area.
You can use that console to open the door. Astrologist Mona Magistus. You can use that console to open the door. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. barrels over there? Well, one shot should be able to blow them up! Cheating! Go! 
Don't go buried! Way we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change, so too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just... I, I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. Right?
You've arrived. Come closer. Can you smell that? Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever's giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh yes. It is going to be lively in the- As bustling as it may be, no. I can't imagine it will be dangerous at all. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore, yet the Old Winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the Four Winds. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this from others. Traveler, unless I'm mistaken, you don't seem to have a vision. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange occurrence. ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. Dodge this! Ha! Ha! To 
This moment will be frozen in time. Good idea. That's some keen observation. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. Cool it! Speaking of, did you know? Using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Bravo! What a performance! You are, to my surprise, a well trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp! I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. There's no way hilly turtles organized an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Knights of Avonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. Knight of Favonius. Please allow me.
blade. Beauty, you're going to help me out too? How kind of you. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Good question. Basically, things other than that which require brawn or brains. So, what does that leave? It's fine. Well, all that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Want to go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. You're taking me out?
What's the hurry? to the Adventurers Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on him, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of Legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with him. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards and it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. <laughs>
what? Over there. Take your pick. Or if you need something else, I can make it on request. Wow! He just bespoke weaponry? Of course! I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Anywhere. Everywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back and I'll help you forge what you need. No need. I have other things to do. Hard work he is seems all like there a short-tempered guy. Was it something we said? Frostbite. What's the hurry? How fortunate. Fisherman's toast. Mm, the aroma is coming from Good Hunter. A thick slice of soft white toast, topped with a generous serving of onion slices, lightly caramelized by the toasting. Yum yum. Paimon's made up her mind. It's an emergency. We must order ourselves a generous serving of Fisherman's toast from Good Hunter, pronto. It's on you, of course. It's 
so delicious. Hum, hum, hum. Good Hunter's Fisherman's Toast is the best. This might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook. You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of Good Hunter's? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down. <laughs> What do you want? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten about that. These are okay, I guess. Should be able to... If you ever find ore in the future, you can always come and see me. Ideally, when I'm not busy. A blacksmith's work takes focus and concentration. It does not take small talk with customers. When the craft is good, business is good. That's all there is to this trade, and anyone who tells you different is trying to call on you. Now, if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. He's certainly committed to his work. <laughs> God's response. Can you feel the blessings of the Seven? In Mondstadt, people call them Animoculi. <laughs> wow. 
This is bad. Such a hassle. Oh, thank the Thousand Winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out. Marvelous. I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please. Let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard, just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? This place will do. Tell us what it's about already! How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related. My, how could you not know such common knowledge? <laughs> this is no different from children inheriting their hairstyles from their parents. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. 
The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared. Billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather, the world we live in is fascinating, full of unknown and inexplicable wonders. Holy moly, that's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword! Well, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see if we can find out more! The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? Hey, kiddo! Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild! Hmm. We're not here for something that boring. We're looking for a sword that fell from Celestia. One that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras. It's super mega uber powerful. That's what Paimon said. It's a super epic sword. Anyway, it's fine as long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location. So, Cyrus, do you know where the lost Arcadian ruins are supposed to be? Arcadian ruins? Never heard of them. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see them. Uh, my intel? Still no clues. Well, it's not like it's gonna be easy. Come on, it's the hiding place of the super amazing sword. Anyway, we should go meet up with Gaia first. You're back. Do you have news for me? Listen, we asked around the Adventures Guild and found... Well, nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that what's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate black market intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian Ruins. Really? Where's the guy? 
Now, now, as per the black market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Then what are we waiting here for? That's right. You read my mind. I am a knight, so I shouldn't have any dealings with the black market. You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles. By the knights. Ooh! No problemo! closer. Why is this happening to me? I shouldn't have helped him. Him who? Thanks so much for saving me. You're far more reliable than those Favonius guys. It's nothing. He's a traveler. He has to deal with stuff like this all the time. Traveler? I've heard stories about you. I didn't think I'd be saved by the one I'm here to meet. Oh, so you're the... <laughs> I didn't know how I could pay you back initially, but now I think I'll just give you the intel for free. People in our circle know how important the network is. Lucky? But it's lucky for Kaya, isn't it? He's supposed to pay for the intel. Listen well then. The intel on the Arcadian ruins. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. Right. Wait, is that it? There's also this map that came with it. Could this be the X marks the spot? So the clue is more like a riddle. Well, should be a piece of cake for you, right? I'm gonna lead you to it then. Well, if you can't solve it, we can ask Kaya. He seems like a nerd, too. I'll leave you the intel so you can review it at any time. Thanks, Vile. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What does that mean? If you don't want to ask Kaya, you better figure it out.
I don't get to buy new clothes often. You're back. Looks like you got the intel. Yes and no. It's a lot more complicated than that. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What do you make of it? Riddles. How quaint. <laughs> Let me think. The city in the lake is clearly Mondstadt. As for the six-armed giants... Hmm... Giant crabs! <laughs> Aside from asking just where we would find giant crabs, crabs have eight legs, not six. Hey, that's smart! A windmill has six blades. It fits. Wow, that makes sense! So out of the three windmills, two are close to the statue. The other one is guarding. Ooh, ooh, this one Paimon knows, the treasure! <laughs> Let's hope it's really that simple. Take a look around that windmill! Hello. May the animal archon protect you. Please be quiet within the premises and refrain from making a racket. Astra 
The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. There's another map! More riddles? Paimon's dizzy already! Oh no, Paimon used up all her brain juice! Let you have all the fun, or you could get Kaya to help. She doesn't love him at all. The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. Any idea what that means? Is this some page stripped from a love novel that you just happened to find? Oh, so it's not a clue. No wonder someone as clever as Paimon wasn't able to get it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Seriously, Kaya. <laughs> this riddle is hard to figure out. Clear spring. Is it referring to Springvale? Passion rushing through the clear spring. Such inappropriate behavior. I feel like it has been creeping into Mondstadt for quite a while now. Unless that's something you two get up to. Oh, my apologies. I shouldn't judge what one does in their own time. What's wrong with you? What kind of people do you think we are? <laughs> the thing is, if the rushing passion isn't coming from the clear spring, then it's coming from the people bathing. For example, 
It appears the solution to this enigma relates to the waterfall behind Springvale. Only the clear spring that blesses Mondstadt can reveal the passion described here. And the heart of the waterfall must refer to the cliff on the left side of the waterfall. I noticed it once when I was out on patrol in the area. The ending, cold and alone, probably has something to do with cryo, which can be controlled by a vision. You should probably take someone who can manipulate cryo with you. It's nothing. If a Knight of Favonius couldn't even answer a riddle, how could we be trusted to solve criminal mysteries? Let's go take a look in Springvale. We'll leave you to your- Um. Uh, no, wait. Um, leave you to solving your criminal mysteries.
destined to destiny. your luck. Dodge this! Free! Dodge this! Go, go, Baron Bunny! Let it rain! You're in for a little shock. Like I got carried away. Or does it look... 
plane. Oh, Paimon gets it. The perfect disguise is always in plain sight. Kaya's grandpa sure is impressive. Oh, mice! Uh, it's no time to get suspicious. We're close. Hurry, the treasure is waiting for us.
my treasure? Let's look around. <laughs> I'll save you the trouble. How about you let me take over? Sharp eye, but too slow. I'm Izzard. I thank you both on behalf of the treasure hoarders. Uh, we've been keeping a low profile. How did word get out? Hmm. Paimon won't let you have the treasure without a fight. You would be wise not to underestimate us. My gang is just outside waiting for my order. However, they're not as uh, sociable as me. I'm sorry to rain on your parade. But your gang won't be participating in your current plan. If you'd like to ask why, you can go see them. In Mondstadt Prison. Or perhaps you'd prefer to join them permanently. The Knights. Hey, it's Kaya! Kaya, he wants to steal your treasure! Get him! Ugh, oh, almost had it. Oh, you mean the treasure? Sorry. But there wasn't any treasure to begin with. You came all the way for nothing. Just give it up. What? No treasure? Did Kaya just say there isn't any treasure? Ha! <laughs> it got me good. Didn't think the knights would resort to such tactics. A thief has no right to criticize the methods of the knights of Fav Wait. What are you? You're not gonna get me. Okay. Oh God. What? What is this? I didn't mean it. <laughs> what a troublemaker. You, knife. You're not gonna watch me die, are you? Hmm. What an interesting suggestion. Fine. I I'll confess and go quietly. Please, just help. All right then, guess I will have to do some overtime work after all. For a little shock, come a little closer. <laughs> come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> yep. Don't be such a brute. Come a little closer. Ha You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Let's spark things up a little. Yep. Ha yep. Oh. <gasps> My.
urine for a little. Uh, uh, I'm a bit rusty. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Shadows of fate. How embarrassing. Having my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised. Or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, let's take him back. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? Uh, what? <laughs> of course not. They are the ones who made this arrest possible. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been able to catch the treasure hoarders. All right, all right, stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise, you would have informed me of your intentions, no? That... well... uh... Hmm. Let's go! I'm done talking to him! <laughs> Just a sec. You did help me out, so you do deserve a reward. This is the triumphant Harbinger of Dawn that points towards victory. As its name suggests, it symbolizes light and victory. If you don't mind, I would like to present you with this Harbinger of Dawn as a reward. Harbinger of Dawn? That's right. It suits a well-cultured and disciplined person such as yourself. Wouldn't you say, Paimon? What is this Harbinger of Dawn? You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. What a wonderful day. Now, I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance.
Traveler, I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> gliding all over the place. Everyone's... <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Avonius have strict rules! You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what Acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt! No with a capital N-O! Do not challenge the authority of Examiner Amber! I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider, no carrying anything over the set weight limit, no taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Avonia's gliding manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. That's a cool story, but is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber.
No, I can't write a piece based on this info. Fortunate. Here. Did you have a good read through of the gliding manual? Got all the sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ah, oh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh this is so embarrassing. It's because maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. 
Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish. You gotta focus on your technique if you wanna try again. Cool, you'll make it this. Surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting. You didn't hurt yourself, did you? Once you're ready, let's try again. Keep a firm grasp on the wind glider and let the wind guide you. You got me. the hang of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. Easy! You've flown this way before anyway! Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Windborne Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. What's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? 
The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. No pain, no gain. <laughs> Urine for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Urine, for <a> <laughs> Urine for a little shock. Urine for a little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Delves into destiny. Come 
come a little closer. Springvale, there must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. a broken tree branch. Oh, Paimon knows! It's from a frame of a wing glider, therefore... There are no elemental traces on it. Oh, it looks like it's just a plain old tree branch. Slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stumped on one to take off. Wait, are you telling me people actually do that? Either way, let's make a men... Hmm... A strip of cloth with animal markings on it. Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wing glider. Wow, Outriders have to be textile experts now? It's a harder job than Paimon thought. If this really belongs to Raptor, it must mean his wind glider is broken. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead. It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep going. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> yep. Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> I have some 
for you, too! You're in for a little shock. Let me scry! Written in the stars! Thank goodness! The Knights of Favonius have arrived! The hilly chills won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the hilly churls attacked our carts. <sighs> Luckily, I outran them. Hilly churls? But I thought the Knights of Avonius had cleared out most of the hilly churl camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village. The route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today, oh, some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Oh, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out in the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny-looking? In what way? Oh, he was holding on to something. Must have been heavy, because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm gonna report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong lead. On with the chase! Oh, and don't worry. As soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. <laughs> Shadows of Fate! Another test! <laughs> Free! <laughs> Delve into Free. destiny. You're open, suffocate. Shadows of fate. Free. Suffocate. Leave my space. Come a little closer. You're ready for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Try not to enjoy this too much. Freeze! <laughs> Don't be such a brute. He come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Apart from the hilly trolls, there's a bunch of funny looking people, too. Judging from the type of wind gliders they've got, I'd say this lot is with Raptor. But if that's the case, what are they hanging around here for? I wonder. Well, this measly bunch can't slow us down, that's for sure. But we also haven't found the artifact, which means Raptor still has it on him. Forget these guys. Huh. Look where we are. The elemental power on the artifact must have worn off. Raptor must have realized the markings would give away his position and sent his minions to slow us down. That way, when the effect wears off, he can make his escape. He won't get away with this. After him!
there's only one way over there. Raptor must be up ahead. However, it looks like the only way we can catch up is if we glide. But there's a ton of enemies below. They'll definitely attack us after we take off. If we're going to do this, we'll have to glide and defeat them in one fell swoop. You still had one stage to go in your exam, right? Yeah, but what's that got to do with anything? How about we make this the third and final stage of your gliding exam? Are you sure that's how the exam is supposed to go? It's a custom version of the exam, designed by yours truly. Besides, the normal version of the exam wouldn't be fit for the hero of Mondstadt himself. So, what do you say? Woohoo! Good answer! Prepare for takeoff! Raptor awaits you once you defeat all these enemies. Then that gliding license is yours!
Nice! You breezed through it! <laughs> You're a natural. I knew you'd be fine. All that's left now is to grab ourselves a raptor. Let's go!
this? Don't push your luck. Freeze. Hit. Like there's no way across. Ugh, he must be around here somewhere. Amber! Over there! If you insist on chasing me, so be it. Huh? Who brought the little girl? You must be Raptor! You can't escape! <laughs> I don't need to escape. There's no way you can make it over here. Oh, it is pretty high. And quite far. Oh, little girl, why don't you run along home now and let your leader deal with this? Don't worry, I promise that once the Grand Master gets here, I'll surrender immediately. <laughs> hey, watch it! You're talking to a Knights of Favonius Outrider! You'll be sorry when I arrest you! <sighs> You're right. Ugh, he's right there in front of us! If only we could glide across! So how did he get across? Hmm, I don't see a mechanism, and I have good eyesight. Besides, there's nowhere on the cliff that you could build one. Bye-bye, kiddo. Oh no, he's getting away! Oh, we can't hesitate any longer. The only way to get across is to glide there. But, but... Don't worry, I'm the gliding champion of Mondstadt, remember? If Raptor can do it, I can do it too. Oi, Outrider! You have less chance of surviving this than jumping off the Animo God statue in Mondstadt without your wind glider. <laughs> Paimon sees your point. If you rule out everything that's completely impossible, gliding is the only idea left. Remember that book I lent you? The one I thought was the gliding manual, but wasn't? The first birds couldn't fly. Flight was their reward for their courage to plunge into the canyon. <sighs> Be my witness. Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully... Wait! Stop! You'll never make it! Come on, off you go now. Back home like a good little girl. Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully... 
the wind. The wind says I will make it, and that's good enough for me. otherwise the wind takes care of those who have courage now sit still and await your arrest like a good little boy Revenge! Eventually! All right, I got him! I only noticed the wind current from in the air, and it's the only one! It would be suicide to try and escape in the direction Raptor was going. In other words, the only way Raptor could have gotten out would be this way, past us. Aha! So he was just trying to fool us by acting smug, in the hope that we would just give up and leave! Little did he know, we're not so easily fooled. It was all thanks to your sharp thinking. Just like a wise man once said, once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. At the end of the day, gliding is seven parts technique, three parts instinct, and then 90 parts courage. What you did now looked more like 99 parts courage. Ah, uh, it was just like in my first gliding exam. I was super nervous, but in the end, there was nothing to be afraid of, and I passed no problem. I kind of missed that nervous rush in the exams I've done since then. It just wasn't the same. Um, sorry. Paimon thought you said you passed no problem. What do you mean exams since then? Uh, well, you see, the thing is, Mondstadt is all no glide zone this, no landing zone that. <sighs> Every time I get my license, it keeps getting revoked. I must have taken the exam about 15 times altogether. But I always pass the first time. I guess my little gliding manual ain't so bad after all. Let's go and get a copy of the real gliding manual from Acting Grandmaster Jean sometime. I'll head off first because I need to escort Raptor back to the city. Once you're back in the city, don't forget to come find me at the cathedral. I'll issue your gliding license there. <sighs> she just can't sit still, can she? Guess that's why she's the outrider. When this is all done and dusted, let's head to the cathedral in Mondstadt. <sighs> Getting this gliding license has turned into...
Congratulations! Here is your gliding license! You're officially legal now! Yay! I'm not surprised, though. You are a natural after all. Oh, and I'll sign you up for the next wind gliding championship! I glide so fast that no one can keep up! It's just me up. Whoa, fighting talk! <laughs> it seems you have no idea how terrifying the championship really is! Well, until I kick your butt in the championship, I wish you a happy, liberating, and above all, law-abiding gliding experience. Make sure you obey the rules. Whatever you do, don't get your license revoked. Oh, brother. If you ask me, that's a bit rich coming from Amber. <laughs> Welcome. Every treasure here is unique. Guaranteed. <laughs> yep. There's nothing here that Paimon recognizes. That's for sure. <laughs> what did I tell you? These are all rare items brought back by adventurers from all corners of the world. Is there anything that catches your eye? No need. I forgot to mention, I operate on a trading basis. Goods for goods. No more I accepted here. I've been trying to make something a bit special recently, and I need a lot of Animo sigils to decorate it with. Do you have any Animo sigils with you? <laughs> it seems the Animo Archon approves of your adventures then. More to the point, any animal sigils you find you can trade in Animo sigils appear all over Mondstadt. If you absolutely, what could be more beautiful than a gift from the Animal Archon? <laughs> okay, you got me. It's actually more complicated than that, but it's easier for people to understand if I just say it's for decoration. Obviously, the reason I need Animo sigils is because they have properties that. <laughs> of course, I guarantee you will be quite surprised at the result. Do come again soon, and bring me lots and lots of Animo sigils next time. Please also visit if you come across any weird and wonderful treasures on your adventures. <laughs> How 
Haven't you heard? There's a strange wanderer near Wolfendom. <laughs> Come a little closer. My, you're a... Don't be such a brute. for a little shot.
come a little closer. Hip urine for a little shock. <laughs> Oh, so sorry. Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> Let's spark things up a little. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> My. Come a little closer. Urine for a little shock. Come a little. Urine for a little shock. Come a little closer. Urine for a little shock. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Urine for a little shock. Come a little closer. Heep. Urine for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> Urine for a little shock. Come a little closer. Urine for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Urine for a little shock. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Yeah. Urine for a little shock. Yeah. Come a little closer. Urine for a little shock. <laughs> Urine for a little shock. Come a little closer. Urine for a little shock. Come a little close. <laughs> Urine for a little shock. Oh no. I'm gonna ruin my gloves. <laughs> Fate is upon you. Delve into destiny.
an adventure. is called as such. Jean? Seems she's talking to someone. Let's let her finish, then go say hi. Which is what has brought us to this point in the first place. If you are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. We can put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need to do is bring that monster to the... <sighs> monster? Yes. What's your point? Uh... I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. Yet here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you make it sound. Fine. That's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply... An amicable exchange of constructive opinions, no? I'll be sure to make thorough notes. Oh, you're back. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow is finally stable. The aftermath of Storm Terror's last attack is finally settled for the moment. <sighs> However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Shneznaya. They choose to follow the god of Cryo. Their envoys go by a particular name, the Fatui. I don't think killing Storm Terror is the right course of action. The Cryo god's Fatui have always coveted the Animo god's power. 
I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. What is it? Oh, let us head back to headquarters then. We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. Mondstadt and Snechnaya are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to any other nation. In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Though, Snechnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tibet. Makes sense given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. It's a crystal embedded with some kind of power. Lisa, are you able to analyze it? Let me take a look. Hmm. I can see impurities in the crystal, but upon further inspection... No, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. So, I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They were incredibly ancient texts, not to mention- Ouch! Gosh, that hurt! The impurities in the crystal- It hurts when I get close. Oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. It's strange, though. You have elemental abilities as well but don't seem to be affected in the same way. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left- Fascinating. Do you know anything about what makes you special? I do not know what to make of it either. Well then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. Please accept the title of Honorary Knight and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. Honorary Knight of Favonius? We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Storm Terror's rage and strange crystals. <sighs> I know Mondstadt's peace hangs in the balance. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. We'll meet back here if you find anything. didn't tell them. The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. So you do remember him, that green guy! He looked just like that guy down there! See? See? Wait, hold on a minute. That... that's the same guy!
guy disappeared! Use Elemental Sight to track him down. His footprints lead to this wall. Did he climb up from here? What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the Divine Archons still walked the Earth. A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below, as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dulce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flag slept, as a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in Lone Stand. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bards soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms a brutal war sprang. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. 
Wrath and woe. Vigor and venom. Poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence. But the liar could no longer soothe his cries. Wait, you guys are... Oh, that's right. You're the ones that scared Dvalin away. Dvalin? Who's that? Huh? Oh, right! Most people seem to call him Storm Terror. Why do you call him that? Are you two meant to be close or something? Oh, so close. Hey, so... Paimon thinks this guy has a screw loose. Good day, Outlander. Seems we meet again. I'm Venti the Bard. Three-time winner of the most popular bard of Mondstadt, to be precise. So, what do you need from me? Given you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe we need to explain any further. Of course it's about Storm Terror! Storm? Hey! Cut it with the Amnesia Act! Alright, show it to him. Oh! Isn't this... What? The crystal has been purified! When? Tavalin, he... The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Tears? He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? do have some wonderful abilities. Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Oh, a hero so bright, should she stand in the light. Though stand in the shade, and you'll be met by a blade. Alas, I've really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. Anyway, even if Dvalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. He'll burn himself out in the flames of anger. Thank you for that, and for purifying the teardrop crystal. But I have my own plans for what is to follow. Oh? And what plan would that be? Seeing this tear has brought to mind a friend so dear. Friend? <laughs> One must be going! Hey, where are you running off to? To the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye bye Huh. What do you make of that? As far as he's concerned, you're a weirdo too, you know. Know what? Familiar? I don't know. You're alone on that one. But did he just say symbol of Mondstadt's hero? Oh, Paimon knows! It's that huge tree! You know the gigantic... What are you doing here? Though I was just wondering if you would happen to follow me. You speak of the god of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. Liyue and Inazuma's respective gods of Geo and Electro are still present, but Mondstadt has seen many a moon since they last saw their own god. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Dvalin? Oh, uh, it's because gods... Um...
Just how is it that everyone sees Storm Terror? I'm quite curious. That said, there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. It seems there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. The wind! I can't open my eyes! What is a creature like that doing out here in such a calm place? You think it was going after that green guy? His relationship with the wind seems even deeper than yours. The dragon wasn't the only thing affected by this change in the wind. Now then, you were saying someone had told you about the dragon? Is that so? Quite the scholar, I must say that, Lisa. She's not wrong. The conflict has reached this point only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds. Nor was it born from his own nature, but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. They are from the Abyss Order, an organization comprised of non-human beings. They despise mankind. I don't know where they come from. All I know is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Dvalin, cursed and left to waste. But now, before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero, the place from which Mondstadt rose. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. Mm, feels much better. So, how exactly did you get poisoned? Uh, that would be because I tried to communicate with Devalin earlier, but was... interrupted... As a result, not only did I not manage to help Devalin break his cur- Yes, it was you! So to make up for it, you're coming with me to the cathedral. The Mondstadt Cathedral? To do what exactly? To claim a certain holy liar de Hamel.
Outlier de Hamel is... One of the most treasured items in Mondstadt. It's the lyre that Barbados used to play. With it, perhaps I can help Duvalin draw his gentle nature back out of this nightmare he's going through. Will it really stop Storm Terror from causing more damage? Of course! I'm the best bard in the world! There's not a single song I do not know, no matter if it's from the past, present, or future. Look me in the eyes. Do you not find me trustworthy? So how can we get the Holy Liar? It's said that it's enshrined deep within the cathedral, somewhere safe. I'll go take a look around. You can come if you want. handle this. Hello there, sister! May the Animo God bless you, young bard. How can I help you? Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. Oh, what a blessing from the God of Animo! But you should report that to the Knights of Favonius. Why have you come to me? <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help! I'd like to borrow the Holy Liar. With it, I'll be able to help Storm Terror. Please see yourselves out. What? It's a vicious dragon indeed, but once the acting Grand Master makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the Knight's way. That's simply not acceptable. Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? That foolish beast betrayed the winds. Not even the God of Animo themselves would forgive it. <clears throat> Please, I beg of you. I'm afraid not, little bard. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. Then... I guess I'm left with no other choice. I cannot hide anymore! My disciples, rejoice! Behold! The god of Animo, Barbados, has descended! Shocked, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? How does it feel to finally meet the god you've been serving? If there's nothing else, I'll be going back to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. Oh, wait! Huh? She didn't even bat an eyelid. But I have at least learned what I wanted to know. She didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the holy liar. Now, since you're the hot, maybe you can give it a shot. Barbados bless you. Ah, it's you! The newcomer of the Knights of Favonius, aren't you? So what brings you here? Tasks, is that so? Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Liar as well. He's full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Liar. Currently, it's only used in Ludihar Pastum. Signed documents from the Grand Master, Seneschal, and Community Representative are all required. So, may I see the document from the Knights of Favonius? A signed document is required. Without it, there's not much I can do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really am quite busy as of late. Oh, it didn't work. I knew it. <laughs> you knew it? I just wanted to know how influential the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius is. You see, the best warrior should always be presented with the best sword. And yet, here we are. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. 
more of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're simply going to have to steal it. Today we stand for free will. Any suggestions? Come now, speak up. That's what free will is for. <laughs> Look at you, sidetracked from the start. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. Besides, if I was caught, I'd have no one to write the grave injustice of my arrest. How can it be a grave injustice if you got caught stealing red-handed? But things are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights of Favonius. You have made contributions to Mondstadt. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to talk your way out of it. The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. If we manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. Stop mentioning us getting caught! What do you say? Ah, uh, yes. Seems I did mention that. Your point being? Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? Paimon will fill you in on her background story when we get the time. Huh? Fate is called as such, for it cannot be changed, nor can it be reversed. It can only but be accepted.
Please! What are you doing oh, here? No, run! What? Follow me. Uh, Master D. Luke, this is this week's accounts. <sighs> the disaster has greatly affected business. Well, let's hope it all ends soon. Hi! We'd like a seat at your, uh, least conspicuous table. Um, the second floor has fewer customers. You'd be less conspicuous up there. But aren't you a bard? Why not sit front and center? <laughs> Let's save the paid performance for next time. We'll be heading up now. See you in a bit. Hey, keep an eye on them. There's something strange about that bard. I'll go ask around. Ask who, exactly? The protectors of Mondstadt. Master D, look, have you seen two thieves around? <sighs> what happened? Why have you mobilized so many guards? <sighs> Haven't you heard, Master D, look? Two thieves are trying to steal the Holy Liar. Oh, huh? how odd. Isn't it? The Holy Liar is a treasure that was played by the god of animal themselves. Such a precious piece of cultural heritage. <laughs> Why would one want to steal something they can't sell off? Would pay better to steal from my sellers. Huh? Sorry, off topic. Believe they headed that way. Understood. Thank you, Master D. Luke. A glass of you can put down that bottle you stole from behind the counter something cold right I want answers let me finish my drink first I'll pay you well with a performance it's not about money you seem too young to be drinking no 
need to worry. When I started drinking, you were still... Oh, you want to ask, who's this? Am I right? He is Master Diluc, the boss of... the... the owner of this tavern. He's very famous. By the way, his dandelion wine is one of my favorites. Although most of the time I can only afford a bottle or two. I just heard about some thieves from the guards. For the record, I like your guts for trying to steal the holy Lyo de Hamel. Even if you are fools. But we don't often get to see people like you. It wasn't us that stole it. The real thief is still out there. This is the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius. Why would someone so aspiring steal Mondstadt's sacred treasure? Hotshot? Oh, so it's you. So, you and the Bard are close friends? Well, despite only being a passing traveler, you've still offered your help to Mondstadt in its time of need. A shame you joined the Knights. The Knights of Favonius. <laughs> Inefficient right from beginning to end. And towards the Fatui? Weak and conservative. <sighs> Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it. Seems you don't really like the Knights of Favonius. Just differences in approach is all. I have my own hopes for this city. Now, answers. Why did you steal the Holy Liar? You sure you want to know? It could implicate you in the affairs of the Knights of Favonius. That's fine. I somehow always end up implicated in their affairs. If I tell you the story with a performance, will you believe me? It depends. I'll make my own judgment. Then will I get paid? Your reward will range from anywhere between five Mora and the Holy Liar. It all depends on your story. Very well. Let me put on a show. What did I just witness? This is confidential information. Why did you let me know? Why? Hmm, perhaps the winds are changing. What say you, Master Diluc? Interesting. Give me some time. I'll organize some contacts. Outlander, as one of the knights, it seems you're not a suspect. Blonde is the only description on the wanted poster. You should be safe. As for the bard, however, it'd be better if you stayed in the tavern. <laughs> no problem. I like taverns. <laughs> okay. Let's meet here tonight after the tavern closes. Shopsy's blacksmith.
You're here. Wait, you're... Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting Grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right! Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the Bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. To persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Duvalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe in Outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? I already told you not to call me, sir. Never mind. We don't often get to work together, after all. Uh... <clears throat> wow. Um, this is really awkward. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo God's power. Uh... Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it! If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the Seven Nations. Outlander, ready to go? I fear this might fall short of their true intentions. I think they intend to use Barbados's connection to the wind to draw him out. Just like Lisa traced the source of the storm to the temples. The god of animal? 
hasn't been seen for more than a thousand years. I don't like having to pry. Here, take this. What is it? A disguise to protect your identity. Put it on before you run into the Fatui. Unfortunately, there's still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade we're maintaining. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Better to not implicate yourself on a personal level. Floor's defenses have been broken. How did you guys know the liars here? The place is being kept is locked up tight. If you're after the key, keep going further into the ruins, but don't come after me. I don't know which one of the guards has it, but I'm sure you can find the guards and find out for yourselves. This guy looks like he's about to wet himself. You, you just worry about yourselves. One of the eleven is already in Mondstadt, Senora. When she gets her hands on you, she's gonna string you up and torture you. When that time comes, don't you dare say a word about me. Did he say Senora? What a strange name. Number eight of the eleven goes by the name Senora. The fact that the Fatui can run amok across the seven nations like we do is entirely because of the eleven. We need to act quickly before she gets wind of what's going on. you how'd you get in here never heard of that association before what are you lot doing here that lies way too obvious you really haven't got anything better and just how do you plan to borrow it Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, sounds like a plan. All right, you're free to go. But I don't have the key, unfortunately. You'll have to ask the next guard you come across. He says the key isn't here. Shall we try another room? What are you doing here? Did you already beat all the other guards? What? I'm not scared of you. A debt collector will come to my aid. Not like I have a choice anyway. <sighs> All right, you're free to go. Uh, I have the key here. You can head in from the hall outside, but don't tell anyone that it was me who gave you the key.
rats scurry out from. Senora's not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Save her the trouble of having to deal with you herself. Ah, no escape! Ah. Prepare yourself! Uh -huh. Leaving so soon? The wire is back in safe hands! Where did that guy go, though? He was here a second ago. Senora is going to end you. The songs Bard sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. <laughs> Take a seat. We have a few specials today at Angel Share. Welcome back. Oh, this is the Holy Liar. You managed to retrieve it. 
pattern of flowing wind carved on the rosewood, and the strings still feel cool to the touch, too. Ah, oh, the memories. What do you think, Venti? Can you summon Devalin? Hmm, although this liar is the real thing, I doubt that it's going to work. As you can see, the liar has been through a thousand years of history. Its animal power has run dry. In this condition, you couldn't play music fit for even Diluc's tavern with it. Bards fight to get on the stage of my tavern. Don't make assumptions. <sighs> Is that really important right now, Master Diluc? And you! Did you just borrow the Holy Liar to play music for drunkards to hear? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> anyway, we won't be able to call Devalin with it. The lyre itself is fine, but the strings... You're up, Outlander. Relax, it's not broken. It's just that the intensity of its animal power has greatly diminished. Do you still have Devalin's teardrop crystal with you? Great! Try to use it on the Holy Lyre! It worked as expected. This youthful glow. Praising yourself? Really? I was talking about the Holy Liar. Thanks to our traveler friend having purified the crystal, the Holy Liar won't continue to lose power. That said, its power is far from replenished. It'd be great if we could get more tears. How can we gather more? I can surmise that Devalin will already be crying. Suffering alone in some deserted place. <sighs> Devalin. Poor baby. This is not something that an honorary knight can accomplish alone. I will mobilize the rest of the knights to assist. When you get the teardrop crystal, please let our honorary knight perform the purification. Heroes supporting each other and setting out on a journey together. How exciting! Let me come up with a song for you. Is that all you're going to do? Just sing? Hmm, wouldn't be much of a bard if I didn't, now would I? Huh, <sighs> you're so cheeky. You deserve an ugly nickname. Oh, Paimon knows. From now on, you'll be known as Tone Deaf Bard. This search reminds me of a feud I once had with the Fatui. Perfect weather for sipping a cup of tea while gazing out the window. When I practice my spells in weather like this, I can do half the work for double the impact. <laughs> I'm just teasing. little closer Ugh. oh no I'm gonna ruin my gloves <laughs> you're in for a little shock <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> 
I knew I should have stayed home. Decided by destiny. Delve into destiny. Shadows of fate. into destiny.
yielding to destiny. Closer. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> My. Yep. <laughs> uh, going out is tiring. As knights, we are taught to hone our investigative skills. Wow! Very impressive. In my experience, the secret to finding... Don't think too much about it and don't search too hard. And before you know it, what you're looking for will appear right before your very eyes. What? <laughs> Don't worry about it too much. The more flustered you become, the less likely you are to find it. Pay attention to what you see in your peripheral vision and you might just stumble upon what you're looking for. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that would work. No, seriously, it does though. In fact, it's how I used to find my tortoise whenever he went missing. Wait, you had a pet tortoise? Yes, why? Something wrong, Paimon? No, it's, uh, well, just surprising is all. Why? Uh, this doesn't look... a pet tortoise. Surely you find it hard to imagine too, Master Diluc. No, I don't. I had one too when I was a kid. What's so strange about it? What? You too?
Come a little closer. <laughs> Hup. Come a little closer. <laughs> Hup. Hup. You're in for a little shock. You come a little closer. Yeah. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock.
Oh, so sorry. This doesn't look good. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. For a Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> no one escapes my sights. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. <laughs> 